Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, Carmina. Hello. How are you? Fine. Hi, thank you. Thank you. How was your day? Good. Eh, it was so uh, he hectic. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? How, how do you hectic. say? Cansado. Oh, tiring. 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 Mm -hmm. Tiring. Okay. Tiring. All right. Good. And you? Oh. Very hectic too. Very okay. hectic, you know, for a lot of active, many activities uh, okay. in the morning and many activities in the afternoon. So I didn't stop, but it was good. Okay. <clears throat> yes, I survived the day. <laughs> yeah, me okay. too. Good, Adeline. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Okay, good. Great, 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 great. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello, Alex. How are you? I am fine, thank you. Okay, good. Ready to yes, learn ready. to learn more. Yes. Uh, okay, very good. That's the attitude. Okay, and that's the, the a good attitude. Okay. Okay, perfect. Well, the others probably will be joining little by little. And where did you say you work, Carmina? Excuse me, teacher. Where, where do you work? I work in the airport. At the airport, you told me, right? Mm -hmm. yes. And mm -hmm. you, you travel every day? Uh, yes, but I live in San Luis Talpa and I okay. um, for, uh, used to 10 minutes from my uh -huh. home. Oh, uh -huh. wow, that's great. But do you drive? Yeah, <laughs> but, but in the bus is 20 minutes. Okay, by car right. 10, oh, in 20 minutes, this, mm -hmm. this is a good time, it's not very far. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. Okay, and you, Adelie, where do you work? Hi, teacher. Um, uh -huh. I work I work in SEPA. SEPA. So, yes. you are co-workers? Uh, in in, in SEPA, in the, in the oh, in puerto? Or in the puerto. Ah, in ah, okay. Yes. Ah, okay. In Alex, in SEPA, in the puerto or airport or the port. I don't know. The port, huh? The uh, port, port of Cajutla. Cajutla port too. Ah, uh, with Areli. Yes, teacher. Uh, you work uh, with uh, Alex. You work in the same port, Cajutla. Um. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, and you, Angel? Hi, teacher. I, Hello. I work in Segura Privada, teacher. Okay, good. All right, that's great. And you, Jose? I work in a hardware store. A hardware store. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Well, I, I work at English Corporativo. And I also work at UCA. University. Yes, <laughs> okay, I work in two, three different places, right? Okay, that's nice. Okay, people. So then, uh, well, we'll see. Well, we have some work to do while the others log in. Well, let me check here. Uh, this is number, yes, module two. Okay, this is what we were doing yesterday, remember? Talking about physical descriptions. We said listen to the audio program and fill in the gaps with the correct information. We were talking about Brian, Tina, 
uh, about Rosie and Tim and Alex, right? So we got all their descriptions. The vocabulary, good looking, pretty tall, mustache, red hair, curly, pretty tall, long blonde hair, fairly short, heavy, very tall, and slim. Okay. Good. Now we have for today. Uh, Alex, can you please read this uh, objective here? Okay, teacher. In this session, you will listen to a dialogue where two people use a modifier with participles and preposition. Okay. So, modifiers with participles and prepositions. Okay, now let's listen to this. But first, uh, here's the sound. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay. She doesn't know anyone here. Okay, this is just for practice. Okay, uh, Alex, please read the part of Raul. And Carmina, you read the part of Liz, please. Okay. okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she can't make it. She went to concert with Alex. Oh, well, why, do, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. I'd like to meet her. Okay, good. Now, Arely and Jose. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she called me it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk? And talk. Why don't you go and talk to Julian? She doesn't know everyone here. Julia, which one is she? 
Is she woman wearing glasses over there? No. She's Delta one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. 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 Okay, it's very her. good. I like to meet her. Okay, Hugo and Brenda. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Hugo? Okay. Oh, she could make. She couldn't. She couldn't. She couldn't. Oh, she couldn't make. She went to concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the, the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's staring near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, uh, Oscar. And who else is missing? An angel. Right. Okay. Uh, hi, hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oscar? Oscar? No. Okay, Oscar? No. Okay. Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, we don't you go and, and talk to Julia? She does know any, anyone here? Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She is standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Julia? That's it. I'm sorry. I'm no. sorry. Woman wearing glasses over there? No. She's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay. Yes, Oscar. Yes, I see that. You I'm were sorry. Having, this you were a problem. Yes. It's okay. Don't worry. We'll have more practice. I, I already okay. practice on the, the learning already the video. You want to read? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Is she the woman wearing glasses? Okay, then, um, uh, Oscar, you read. And Carmina, help me, please. Please. Again. Okay. Uh, hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oh. She couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know any, anyone here. Um, Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she is the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I did like to meet her. Okay, I like to meet her. Okay, like to meet her. that's great. Good, thanks. Now we have this one, and now we have the modifiers with participles and prepositions. Here comes the explanation. Pay attention. Please. 
Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Okay, good. Notice we use... Questions? Do you get the idea? ¿Se entiende la idea? Of what is participles and prepositions? No problem? Uh, teacher? I, I understand a little bit. But I am a little bit confused too. Uh -huh. What is the confusion? For example, in the first, who's Raul? He is the man wearing a green shirt. Mm -hmm. My verb is, is. Mm -hmm. And the noun, the man, right? Yes. Contraction. Participle is wearing. Uh -huh. I can use wearing with, uh, to a verb. In this case, no. Mm -hmm. This one this one is not a verb, okay? So they, okay. Co they consider it like a participle, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's not, for example, a Raul, if you say Raul is wearing a green shirt, ese es el presente progresivo. Mm -hmm. Okay, pero in this one say who is Raul? He's the man wearing a green shirt. If you interpret this in Spanish, you say es el hombre que tiene la cami de camisa verde, right? Mm -hmm. And then we don't use it as a verb. That's why it is a participle. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's the one talking to Liz. Es el que es el que, es el que está hablando con Liz. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. So in those cases, is, that will be the interpretation in Spanish. Okay, ah, okay. but the verb is Perfect. here. Mm -hmm. That Perfect, a, thank you. Okay, and this is, she's the woman with, you can also use preposition, with short black hair, the woman in jeans, la, la, they say she's the tall one in jeans, es la chica alta de jeans, el in sería como there, right? Mm -hmm. The people next to the window, los que están a la par de la ventana, they're the ones on the couch, los que están en el sillón. Okay, good. Okay. Uh -huh. Alex, do you have another question? Uh, sí, teacher. Uh, mi, mi confusión es, por ejemplo, en la primera, he's the man wearing a green shirt. Mm -hmm. Pero en la segunda, eh, es como que es un poco más específico. ¿Es así, teacher? No, really. Eh, eh, 
here is el significado, right? Because if you say she's the woman, no hay una acción acá que sea eh, using, wearing, es el hombre de. de eh, the only thing that in English, if you use of, it has a different. The word of doesn't ex. I mean, it wouldn't have a translation or an interpretation in Spanish. Okay, that's why they say the woman with short black hair. And here is. Se entendería como que es el hombre que está vistiendo una camisa verde, tal vez al traducirlo así literalmente, uh -huh. literalmente. Pero acá recuerden que el inglés no se va a tomar literal, sino que se interpreta. Ok, because a veces sí, porque si uno quiere traducir todo literalmente, en algunas cosas pega, en otras no. Si dice, no, ¿quién es Raúl? Es el hombre de la camisa verde. O es el hombre de camisa verde. Pero acá, si ven, eh, which one is Raúl? Es él que está platicando con Liz. Esa sería la mejor interpretación aquí. O sea, oh, que aquí, okay. se, aquí se sonaría como verbo, pero aquí no. Ok. But that's, that's why, eh, por eso es que lo tienen como participles. Porque no todos en español, porque ellos no lo ven en español. Sí. Right? They lo ven en, en su forma de, de hablarlo. Y lo ocupan después de he's the man, como decía Carmina. He is, is the verb, and the man here is the noun. Porque el, el sujeto es he. Aquí estamos hablando de Raúl. He. Ok, he is the man. Él es el, él es el que está de camisa verde. Aquí no usamos hombre. In, 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 in the translation, right? He is the one talking to Liz. Es el que... Está hablando con Liz. All right, so that's why they use it como participles. Aquí no es un presente continuo. Okay? Oh, For example, sí, sí. if, uh -huh, let me see. Uh, let me check. Okay. Here. For example, that if you see here, uh, for example, who is, uh, let's say, who is, eh, who is Hugo? He's the one. He's, he's the one. The man. Uh -huh. He is the one or he is the man with a letter H. Donde? In your picture profile? In his profile, uh -huh, right? Then he is the one with a letter H in his picture profile. Entonces, si lo vemos acá, ah, ok, ya lo identificamos. Pero aquí utilizamos la preposición with. Ok, that will be. Esta. Aquí utilizamos esta estructura. He is the one. Who is Google? He is the one or he is the man with a letter H in his picture profile. Okay? And then, for example, who, if you see here, who is Luis? Who is Luis? So, me. Uh -huh. He is... ¿Cómo me identifican? If you say, who is Luis? Luis? Uh -huh. He is the man. He is the man. Uh, the shirt blue. With the blue, uh -huh. wearing, wearing the shirt, the, uh, shirt. the blue, blue shirt, the blue shirt. Blue shirt. Uh -huh. He's the man wearing. He's the man ball. He's the man wearing a blue shirt. Okay, if you say, for example, who is the teacher? Si alguien entrar aquí era, who is the teacher? 
Is the man wearing is the, the man, man wearing, wearing a blue shirt? A blue shirt. shirt. Wearing glasses. He is the man wearing glasses. Okay, he is the man with the curtains behind. Okay. Uh, he is the man uh, with the yellow and green rectangle. Yes. O sea, van a buscar algo que me identifique, right? En algunos casos, van, oh, he is the man talking with the rest. He's the man. He's the man teaching teach English. Uh -huh, he's the man teaching English. He's the man teaching the class. Uh, he's he's the, man. the man with a mustache. He's the man with a mustache. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay, that's correct. Okay. Then this is, for example, the 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 way that you use this. He's the man, for example, uh, wearing glasses, wearing a blue shirt. Uh, what else? Uh, he's the man. Is, uh, he's the man is speaking to the rest. He's the man is speaking to the class. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, he's the man. Uh, uh, he's the man waving his hand. Okay. For example, and who is Alex? He is the man. Is the man wearing white shirt? A white shirt. Uh -huh. Correct. Okay, there you go. He's the man with a white white earphones. Okay, you have earphones. And who is the teacher? Oh, he's the man with a headset. Okay, headset, no earphones. Okay, and and Alex. Is the man with earphones? Earphones. Because earphones are the small. Earphones is, is is small. The small ones, uh huh. And this is a headset. Esto va en okay. toda la cabeza, right? No in the ears. And the other ones go in the ear. Okay. Uh, who is Carmina? They say she. she uh huh. She is wearing um. Pink jacket. Uh, jacket, uh huh. Okay, she's the she one is, wearing a pink jacket. She is yeah. wearing a necklace. She's the one wearing a necklace. Uh, she's the. the one. Uh -huh. She's the one. Uh, a beautiful smile. <laughs> she's the one. Okay, she's the one with. With. A beautiful smile. Uh -huh. A beautiful smile. Yes, she's the one with. Okay, uh, then you can say she's the only one. She's the only one with a pic and a profile picture. Okay, she's the only one with a profile picture. And then you say, ah, okay, you always give a reference, okay, to identify a person in a group or in a, in a place where there are more people. Okay, for example, uh, suppose I, I ask you, who is, uh, esto solo para adultos, who is Bono? He's a man singer. Uh-huh, he's the, he's the YouTube, okay, uh, he's the YouTube okay. group. Singer. Singer. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Who is Bono? Bono is a singer. Say, okay. he's the yes. singer. Uh -huh. He's the one. Okay. He's the one, or he is the man who sings in the group due to. Okay. He's the one. Okay. Oh yes, that's a Bono. Okay. Yes. Uh, what else? Who is? Okay, who is, for example, uh, who's Sylvester Stallone? He is an actor. Uh -huh. He is the man. He is the man. He is okay. an actor. He is the man with the 
to the face, you know, with problems to speak, right? With problems to speak. Mm -hmm. Okay, he has some problems when he speaks. Okay, and then this is how you look for some reference about people. And then you have, okay, prepositions, okay, next to, on, you can hear, here you can use between, okay, on the corner. Remember all those expressions that we use for directions? Okay, she's the woman on the corner. She's the woman in the park. She's the woman between the trees. She's the woman, the woman between... walking there, walking. She's the, the she's the woman walking, walking down the street. Down the street. Okay. Walking down the street. Behind. Okay. Behind. She's the woman behind the tree, behind the bicycle. Okay. She's the woman. Uh, uh, talking on the phone, okay, chatting on the phone, uh, or any action, right, that you can Writing, use. he's the right. woman write, uh, writing a letter. Uh -huh, she's the woman writing the letter, okay. Prepositions along okay. with more information to modify. Okay, so you have an idea now, right, of what it is. But if you see the the best way to to remember these structures is given a lot of examples, okay? A lot of examples. Okay, let me see. Okay, and then we have the knowledge check. And I think this is the next, the last one, okay? Good. Uh, let me see, she's the one wearing. Good. What is the first question here? Uh, let me see. Alex, can you please read the instructions here? Okay, teacher. Clara is the tall uh, guy. Here, no, here are the instructions. Rewrite. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, rewrite the sentence using modifiers with participles of preposition. Follow the sample. Mary is the beautiful girl. She's standing by the door. Mary is the beautiful girl standing by the door. Okay. Now, here's where you can see the use of this. Si ven en la primera hay que hacer dos oraciones. Mary is the beautiful girl. She's standing by the door. But then you say, Mary is the beautiful girl. Aquí asumite el she is. Y aquí es donde ya deja de ser presente continuo standing by the door. Then Mary is the girl, beautiful girl is standing by the door. Okay, so this is what you're going to do here. Clark is the tall guy. He's wearing a button-down shirt in cargo pants. Okay, how do you structure that sentence. Clark is the tall guy wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. Mm -hmm. Any other way? Is there another way to say it? Clark is the tall guy wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. Good. Yes. Yes. The second one, Adam and Luz are the good looking couple. They're talking to Tom. Adam? 
and Louis, Louis mm -hmm. are the good-looking couple talking to Tom. Yes, okay. Number three. Len is the young girl. She's in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Line is the young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. In striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Very good. How about number four? Jessica is an attractive woman. She's sitting Jessica. to the left. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. Okay, very good. And the number five? AJ. AJ is a serious looking boy listening to his New Salsa CD. New Salsa CD. Okay. Now, if you see here, we have Clark. He is the tall guy wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants. Clark is a tall guy wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants. Okay. So we can use either of these. Let's see if it allows. Okay, Alan. And Luz are the good looking couple talking to Tom. And then Luz are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Okay, what is the difference? No difference, right? Probably the period. Okay, and the number three. Uh, Lynn is the young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. If you see, you only omit the subject and verb from the next question, and then you put them together, okay? Okay, we're gonna use this one here and see if it works. Oscar, any questions? This one, uh, this is the exercise you were asking me about yesterday, right? Yes, this is, um, I have a problem. This, um, a little on the breastbone, uh, a little the, the answer. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because uh -huh, we needed uh, yes. the explanation, uh, right? But now you have, you remember that Clark is the, to, uh, the tall guy. The tall guy? Wearing. Wearing a bottom-down shirt and cargo pants. O sea, solo se le va a omitir la, la digamos, el, la persona, o como sería la... The subject here. The subject. Mm -hmm. Solo le vamos a omitir eso. Yes, look. Okay. Clark is a tall guy wearing. Okay, Clark is a tall guy, and now he is is out wearing a button-down shirt. Adam and Luz are the tall. Okay, are the tall, good-looking couple. Okay, they are talking to Tom. Couple talking to Tom. Then you will meet. They are. Okay. Okay, okay, lo voy a hacer de, de nuevo. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do it the same way. And you just omit this. De las dos oraciones, se hace una sola. Okay? Here okay. you see it says, Ma Mary, look at the example. Aquí está el ejemplo. Mary is a beautiful girl. She's standing by the door. Mary is a beautiful girl. 
standing by the door. Se desaparece el punto y el she is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mary is the beautiful girl standing by the door. You omit this part. Okay. okay. Entonces, la tercera sería, lies the young here girl. in a striped shirt and the blue jeans. In a striped shirt and blue jeans. Exactly. Okay. You omit this. Line is, uh, Lynn is, a, is the young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Mm -hmm. For yellow, the four is also get to three woman sitting to the left, Antonia. Mm -hmm. Sitting to the left of Antonia. Okay. Questions? That teacher, Stanley, le saluda. Yes, tell me. De las dos respuestas, bueno, lo que yo alcanzo a diferenciar. Que es el guión, nomás es el, el, la, la, como la alternativa, va. El... Si, si no, ya se llega a ponerla, a, a, a describir. No es cruel, yo, yo no es cruel. ¿Omitir sí, esa yo. parte? No, en las respuestas, digamos, en la 1 dice, en la respuesta, ¿va? en el uh -huh. answer. Claro. 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 down. Ahí lleva el guión. En la otra respuesta, donde dice or, dice put, put and down, no lo tiene. Quizás esa es la diferencia. Ah, en, en, en esta sí. No lo he sí. alcanzado a ver. Sí, sí, en esta sí. Ya le entendí. Sí, a veces, este, ¿cómo es que se llama? A alguien se le puede olvidar el guión, pero no, no lo penalizan en la, a la hora de calificarlo. Es como aquí, por ejemplo, el good looking tampoco lo tiene. Ah, uh. Entiendo. Igual que, bueno, aquí en t-shirt, aquí en t-shirt, si, si por lo general se pone, sí, oh. aquí ya solo está. Y acá, eh, serious looking, serious looking, Ajá. son como en los adjetivos compuestos, ¿verdad? que llevan dos palabras. El, dice, AJ is the serious looking boy, el muchacho que se ve serio. Serious yeah. looking, o de apariencia seria. AJ es el muchacho de apariencia seria que está escuchando su CD de salsa. Right. So, como le digo, hay que interpretarlo, hay que buscarle cuál es la mejor forma que lo entenderíamos nosotros, o que lo usaríamos nosotros en español. Ok. So, es Gracias. Una... Ok, no problem. Good. Eh, any other question? Not for the moment. Okay. Uh, we are going to work in the groups for, let's see, yes, eight minutes. Uh, Ivan escribir four sentences. Okay, four sentences. Describiendo a una persona, inventado, ok. Eh, who is, Anto eh, who is uh, Miguel, right? Miguel is the man standing next to the front door. Ok, Miguel is the man wearing shorts. Or the man, eh, Miguel is the man wearing white shorts. Lo importante acá es que, me, que ocupen la estructura. Y si van a usar wearing o si van a usar una preposición, with, next to, ok. Eh, la idea es practicar cuatro oraciones y como van a ser cinco grupitos, dos y dos, dos eh, parejas, y luego regresamos y leen las cuatro oraciones que han escrito, ok. Ready? Eight minutes. Hey. Ready. Ready. ¿Y, ¿Y los ejemplos, teacher? ¿Ah? ¿Los ejemplos? ¿Dónde los vamos a tomar? Eh, es creatividad, right? Ahí ah, okay. in inventados, inventados. Oh, no ok, problem. entiendo. Gracias. Ok, very good. Mm -hmm. 
Hola. Hola, Oscar. Oscar. Okay, Oscar, go to the group. You don't have a group? No. I oh, no, teacher. No invitation. No invitation. I mean, it's the next the class. Is uh, I am cry, cry, cry. <laughs> you are Oscar with Oscar and Jose. Okay. Now we go. Okay. And Arely. Okay, Arely. Alex is waiting for you. Uh, ajá. Entonces, puede ser. Um, he is the man in front of the publicity. He is the man. Uh, near to the man near to. Digamos que está cerca de, de la ventana. Near to the window. Near the window. Okay. Near the window. Mm -hmm. okay. Excellent. Yes. Uh -huh. That's eh, para describing the, the person was mustache. No. Eh, eh, yes, you can use barba. that one. You can say, he's the man with the mustache. Standing near the window. Pueden hacerlo más okay. específico, no problem. Ah, okay. Eh, okay. Por, por eso lo he dejado a su creatividad. Right? You can do whatever you want. You can say, okay. he's, he's a man, he's a man uh, wearing a blue shirt, standing near the window, and porque pueden haber muchas más gentes, okay? Standing mm -hmm. near the window, talking to the, 
woman wearing the red dress. Ah. Ahí sí ya no es, uh -huh. nadie se pierde, right? Uh -huh. El hombre de el hombre que está escribiendo eh, con camisa azul, parado a la par de la ventana y practicando con la chica de rojo. You see them? Ah, okay. okay. You immediately identify the person. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank good. You. Continue. Okay. He's the man. He's the man. Uh, the king. With. With my sister. Yes, okay. mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. He's the man talking with my sister. You can say he's the man talking talking to the dog. Okay. Uh, yes. uh, who's Freddy? He's the he's the, he's the one. He's the one talking to Pedro. Yes, he's the one talking to Pedro. He's the one looking at Pedro. Okay. okay. He's the one punching. Pedro. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's the one punching Pedro, right? <laughs> he's, he's the one, uh, what else? Uh, let's see, uh, chat, chatting, okay, to Pedro. Okay. Okay. Yes. You can, you know, use your imagination, right? That's the limit. Okay. Okay. Uh, other, other, other example. Who's Carlos? He's the man with the blue pants. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's correct. That's exactly what you are supposed to do. Okay. okay. Um, blue jeans. Yeah. Yes. Blue jeans. That's good. Ese sería el primer ejemplo. Blue jeans. Yes. El segundo. Cargo pants. Es cargo pants. What? Cargo pants, dijo. Dice ahí el ejemplo. Ah, como que este soldado. Ok, va. Este va anotando, va. Sí, pues sí, sí. sí. Vaya. José es de medio. Hey. Hate. Yes. Hey, wearing a jacket and blue In jeans. Blue jeans, correcto. Sí, va. Vamos a un ejemplo mío. Vamos a ver. No, no, yo no sé. Va a venir Torre y nos va, nos va a regañar. Terroncito. <ríe> terroncito. ¿Cómo es Terroncito? Sí. Ok, questions. No problem. No problem. No problem. Ok. All right. Eh, por ejemplo, el número uno. ¿Cómo es Carmina? Is the wearing a jacket pink? A pink jacket. A pink jacket, okay. The a one pink. wearing a pink jacket. Okay, uh, number two is he is Oscar. He's the one wearing a blue shirt. Shirt, shirt. Shirt. Come in, shirt. Yeah, shirt. Shirt. Shirt, okay. Yes.
located in the Lux, who is Jose Angel, is the one, the person next to the red car. Is the one? Is the one, the person next to the, 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 to the red car. Is the one next to the red car. Is the one next to next the red to the car. Red car. Mm -hmm. Only that. Yes. Okay, the rest will be here in four seconds. Three, two, one. This should... Okay, uh-huh. Uh, um, for example, uh, what is the, the difference in the a jacket pink or pink jacket? What is the difference in the description? The jacket, jacket pink is in Spanish. Oh, pink jacket is English. Yes. In English. Uh, in English, you put the adjective before. Pink jacket. Adjective. Adjective is? Before. The, the form correct mm -hmm. and the answer. Yes. Okay, the, thank the, you. The, the white house, the green house, okay, the yellow house, okay. Okay. All right, so we have uh, 10 people here. Okay, good. Uh, well, let's speak in with uh, Carmina. You were with Brenda, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Car tell, Carmina. tell us your sentences. Okay, Carmina, who is Pablo Alborán? Oh my God, uh, a good singer. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is the man wearing a dark blue smoking with brown shoes in front of the publicity on the red carpet. And he is singing Rayando el Sol with Mana. Oh, yes. Excellent description. Very good. Okay, perfect. Okay. Another one? Do you have another or just that one? Only. Okay, good. Then, uh, Areli, you were with Alex, right? Okay, teacher. Uh, sample, who's Carlos? He's the man with blue pants. Mm -hmm. Another, who's Carmen? She's the woman in jeans. Yes. Who's Who's Katy? She's the woman on the coach. Coach. La, la couch. Palabra. Couch. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, who's Freddy? He's the man talking to Pedro. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Um, well, Hugo and Oscar, you told me the sentence. Ya me la dijeron, verdad? Uh, yes. who's, who's missing? Angel? Oh no, you were with with Hugo too, right? Arely? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Together con, with Hugo. With Hugo, yes. And Arely, you were with uh, Alex. Yes. Yes, right. Okay, good. Okay, good. And Stanley? Hello, teacher. Who were, who were you with? Uh, Jose. Oh, with Jose. Okay, good. All right, people. Just uh, for tomorrow. Uh, let me see. Tomorrow we are going to start a... Uh, Section five. Let me show you. Then we go. Yes, okay, tomorrow we begin with the lesson five and we will begin also with the present perfect. Okay, it's a different topic. Uh, uh, los primeros minutos lo vamos a ocupar para 
repasar la unidad 3 con el, con el midterm. Vamos a ver el examen que han hecho para si tienen dudas de, los, de las secciones anteriores. Eh, les voy a dar un tiempo ahí por si tienen preguntas de la plataforma, de algunos ejercicios, de algunas secciones. Y luego entramos ya con la unidad, con la sección 5, porque ya es un tema diferente, es el presente perfecto, es un tiempo más. Aquello de he venido, he estado, he, he oído, I have heard, I have listened, I have studied, he estudiado, ok, present perfect. Eso se lo voy a explicar mañana. Y vamos a empezar con verbos en pasado participio. Ok, good. Okay. Thank you very much, people, for logging in today. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. And may God bless okay, you. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Good night. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.